Now that the structure of our template has been built, we can begin adding some content items to the layout. In this video, I want to show you how to add text content to an email template in ACT Marketing Automation. Let's begin by logging into our ACT database and then going to Marketing Automation from the left navigation, and then we'll click Email Templates. I'm going to locate this blank template that I created earlier. It's my monthly newsletter. I'll click that to open it. And in a previous video, I started adding some settings for colors and fonts, and I started creating the structure by adding some different row types to my layout. But now we're going to start adding content. So from the content tab, I'm going to click and drag a text element to any of the areas on my layout. Let's say that I want to begin by creating a text headline at the very top. We'll drag this to the top until it says drag it here. And when I release my mouse button, it creates this new text block for me. To edit this text block, just click it and it opens up the ability to edit it with some menus below. So I'm going to highlight that whole row and maybe I'll just type in monthly newsletter. Now whenever I click outside, it'll save that change. Now remember that this is going to use the fonts that I set up in my settings area. So it's using a Tahoma font and if there were any links in here, they would be this blue color. You can override any of this though by clicking inside that text area, highlighting your text, and then you can use the menus below to change it. Since this is my headline, maybe I want to make it bigger and bold faced. And maybe I want to change the color to a bright orange. It's that simple to change. Let's say now that I want to add a sentence or two immediately beneath this headline. You might think I need to go back and add another row here, but that's not the case. Instead, all I need to do is grab another text block and just drag it to the bottom of this particular row. And now I can just edit this text separately from the headline above it, even though they share the same row. The last thing I want to show you now is how to add an unsubscribe link and your company address to this template. When using ACT Marketing Automation, you are required to use both of these items on every marketing template that you send. So let's begin by adding a text item at the bottom of the template. I'll click the content tab, grab this text block, and drag it to the very bottom. Now I'll highlight this text, and I'm just going to hit the delete button on my keyboard. And now with my cursor still blinking inside this text block, I'm going to click Special Links, Unsubscribe, and then click here to unsubscribe. And it's that simple. The link is automatically created and it will perform the unsubscribe task for any of your recipients. You could change the text that is displayed here and the link will still work. Finally, I want to add my company address information. So with my line at the end of this unsubscribe link, I'm just going to hit return on my keyboard. And then from the Merge Tags field, I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom and choose your company address. Now in this field, you shouldn't change anything inside here because this merge field will automatically input your company's address field for you. And as always, don't forget to click the save button to save your changes. Next up, we're going to add some images to this template just to give it a little more appeal.